One, you feel unworthy. At times, do you find yourself thinking, none of my friends like me, or they only invited me because they'd feel bad if they didn't? In reality, it is far from the truth. When dealing with depression, feelings of unworthiness and inadequacy can very easily cloud your thoughts with negative, destructive ones. It deflates your self-esteem, leading to the belief that others see you the same negative way you see yourself. Even when your closest friends and family have pure intentions sending you invites to parties, asking you to go on girls' night out, or calling to check up on you, it can feel like they're doing it only as a way to protect your feelings and avoid making you feel hurt and left out. Opening up and expressing your true feelings can be difficult for you because it feels like no one understands the pain you're going through. 2. You lack energy. Depression can be draining. One of the many symptoms of depression is feeling worn out, both physically and mentally. According to the U.S. National Institutes of Health's National Library of Medicine, one of the most common residual symptoms of partially resolved depression is fatigue. Broadly defined, symptoms of fatigue can affect physical, cognitive, and emotional function, impair school and work performance, and disturb social and family relationships. For people with depression, it can be hard to find the will to get up in the morning, let alone find the energy to go out and spend time with others. It is way easier to just stay in rather than muster energy to socialize. Depending on the severity of your depression, doing just about anything at all can feel more energy consuming than it normally would. With that said, if you or a loved one struggles with depression, it's completely understandable to feel this way. 3. You struggle to find time. Depression is notorious for giving its victims a hard time with time management. Is your work or school load harder to manage than before? Depression severely affects your motivation and productivity levels. All of a sudden, you have no energy left to get things done, and this ultimately has a snowball effect on your to-do list turning it into a never-ending scribble of more and more tasks each day. This amplifies depression symptoms of stress, feeling overwhelmed, and burnout in general, giving you almost little to no time for a social life as you struggle to get enough things done already. 4. You struggle from social anhedonia. Do you feel like the company of others doesn't bring you the same positive feelings of satisfaction or enjoyment as it did before? Has spending the holidays with family, lunch breaks with your coworkers, or even dates with your significant other lost its charm? Anhedonia, or the inability to feel pleasure, is something people with depression may struggle with. Social anhedonia is a form of this condition that refers to one's detachment from socialization due to the absence of pleasure they feel from it. While everyone's experiences may vary from each other, social anhedonia can be very stressful you might still crave forming and maintaining deep, meaningful relationships with other people, but social anhedonia prevents you from doing so. Over time, this could lead to self-blame for your feelings of loneliness and isolation. 5. You have a history of social anxiety. According to research, there's a strong link between social anxiety disorder, or SAD, and future depression, making people diagnosed with SAD prone to depressive-like tendencies. If you or a loved one has already been diagnosed with social anxiety, the presence of depression in your or their life can further reinforce these antisocial and self-isolating habits. Along with depression, social anxiety is another common mental health condition that goes beyond a person's quality of shyness. It hinders your ability to do even the smallest acts, like making eye contact with others or being present in a populated room without feeling uneasy. It only furthers your need to withdraw from others. Social withdrawal, along with other depressive symptoms, is not your fault, nor does it make you less worthy. Such unintentional actions are driven by your depressed mental state, and not by actual feelings you hold within your heart. Socialization isn't all about just making small talk with others or making new friends. It's also about accepting support from loved ones and opening up about your struggles to people you trust. It's important to remember you are not alone, and that reaching out or opening up to a friend family member, or a mental health professional can be the first step of many towards self-improvement. We hope we were able to give you insight into some of the reasons why depression can lead to social withdrawal. Do you find these relatable? Let us know in the comments below. If you find this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with someone you think might be socially withdrawn due to these reasons. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for new videos. Thanks for watching.